tone. You like, you know, I like that tone. It used to be a military base. Well, well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Oh. I should control to Alex. Is yeah, there? sorry. Sorry. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. Oh. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's Damn. really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meat cute any more than we have to. Oh, that is kind of mean. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so. And what? Does that make you to her then? A, uh, second cousin? I don't know. Be like a roommate, really. No, but isn't there like a term for it? Um, step brother, technically. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool. Uh, who's the. Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Uh, I guess she can't hear me. Yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not gonna mind that we're spending the night. So, how do you That's kinda creepy, yo. Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both look like little skinned potato blocks. <laughs> ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. Bruh, that... This will be like the before shot. They're on yeah, their... let's do it. <sighs> that Jonas, captain look yeah, weird. Jonas. It's like, like he's Jonas not Salt. even... Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Like, he's not even Where's moving. I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the words out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. How's the game foggy? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. It's, uh, to the left of the dial? 88.3. If we miss it, I'll never hear the end of it from her. I played because that song has been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it. Now. This is kind of creep. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, this is uncomfortable. You're listening, Ren. Here are the red headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see.
Okay. Oh, that's them. Well, that looks nice. Not gonna lie, this game is actually pretty, pretty nice. Like I like the graphics. The model looks pretty nice for, for a game like 3D-ish too. Oh my god. It just when you first enter the game, that scene right there just creeps you out. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah. Um anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh oh, uh no thanks. I mean I literally just said the clean air thing, so Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh no thanks. I don't smoke. Okay. Last time I had one it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what yeah, don't, don't do drugs. Until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right. My other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that. I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> Uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. Okay. I mean, he got a crush on Alex. Together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. Come it's on, Jonas. This is... Let's just all go up. I don't want to send Ren away like a deer hound. Yeah, it's fine. And you can talk to Alex later. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family oh, bonding time. Uh, yeah, fine, sure. No problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. When the flag is flying, we are funning. Edwards uh, I Island. I supposed to say running. Oh. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. It's kind of kitschy. Right? It's kind of kitschy. What? The town? I like it. I like kitschy stuff. It's like the opposite of ugly, scratchy nature. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Improper acts? What is that even, uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the, it's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're... It's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. So... They talk. School? They talk what too much. <laughs> it? It's a memorial for a sunken submarine. Alex, tune to 102.3 so we can hear the guy. It's kind of a weird little, like, feature of the island where you can hear facts about different stuff by tuning to that station. It's kind of fun. It's like a, a museum. Uh, okay, sure. It's just, uh, 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, Why do I have a... and commissioned into service. Oh, for real? Good boy, Lily. Alright, so this is, I think this is like the only way for me to really think myself, because um, when I pause it, it just, everybody talks. So, um, why do I have a feeling that radio is going to be like something that we won't have to use to talk to spiritual stuff, or something all the game creepy, I'm really way uncomfortable. Chris, at the end of that year, its propeller was the one thing recovered, so... They made it into, like, the monument. The crew are listed on the plaque thing. Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? <laughs> yeah. Definite nightmare food. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns... Oh, hey, this is the Parks and Facilities office. Didn't... Didn't your sister Allison work here? Allie? Yeah, she did for a few years, actually. Easy money, since nobody's allowed in the parks, and barely anybody here needs facilities. But yeah, Maggie Adler, that's it. Your the only person who lives here. She's never left the island. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 
than 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'd get bored with the same scenery, the same parrot screaming at me. Well, of course you'd get bored. You're bored here. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... Don't get too used to her. All right, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. Ren, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go, that's what a friend does. They miss the other person, and I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah, never mind. Oh, Ren, you big knucklehead. I miss you too, okay? But for now, I'm not gone yet, and who knows what I'm gonna do, so... All right, all right. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. Ugh, what is that? It's a saying. No, it isn't. <laughs> the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that... Oh, wow. So this place is not that small. <laughs> this place is big. So... I guess we're going to have to go through here. Maybe I'll go back. Jeez, what an island. They got lots of bridges and all that. But alright, not going to lie to y'all. Those two boys got across on Alec. And I feel like since we are that character, we got, I feel like we have to choose which one would we rather date. But there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Okay, so we got puzzles. Okay. This is cool. And I got you signs of discovered cliff. Oh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> Oh, Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just huh. this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Ren, relax. Oh, what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like a stray dog and can't understand. Yeah, what was it really, Jonas? If you have some deep, dark secret, I'd like to know now before we're officially housemates. I'll just talk to you later. Series. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Yeah, low key, though. Hey, this island is pretty nice. Down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's. Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as a daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, you uh, think you'd be a little yep. old to need a babysitter, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, if I don't have anyone to burp me, it becomes a real issue. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but is she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um, uh, her mom is marrying my dad, so, you know. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? 
uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah, I... What about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, Oof. right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing. Right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach. Island stuff. Yeah. Oof. Okay, that was pretty cool. Like, you can climb stuff. Very, very obstacle-like. I just don't have a good feeling about this. I really don't. Well, let's see how this goes. Fire! Man's great equalizer. Oh. So, what's the, um, God. what's the, like... I keep forgetting that I have to move. <laughs> Sorry. ...thing to do here. Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's oh. dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime, in her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth whoever All truth, right, uh, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, <laughs> I'll start. Red. Uh-huh. Wow. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh, okay, that's... <sighs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead. Anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Wow. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no, just say something. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Thank oh, you. liar! What? Alex! Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this has happened. This really does Hush, this is for your honor. Watch and relish. Oh, God. <laughs> and it's not even my birthday. Yeah, everything's coming. Ow! Dang! <laughs> she said I didn't think you had it in you. Yeah, she's full of surprises. Backstabbing surprises. So, Alex's turn? Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? Um, no, no. <laughs> yes. All right, let's... Do you like Ren? Oh, Jesus. Can we just stop with the whole me and Nona thing, please? Of course she doesn't. She barely likes anybody. She's like an amoeba. One day, she'll reproduce in a cloud of spores. You don't have to answer. I like Ren like a friend. 
like it, uh, I mean, there, he's he's a nice guy. You're you're a nice guy, and uh, we goof off, and yeah, you know. Ta-da! All is right. Ouch. Oh, shut up. Um, Nona, you're up. Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A dolphin, right? Or a butterfly with like a Native American poem written above it. I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am gonna get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Me. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. He, uh, seems okay, right? You're okay. Yeah, but, uh, thanks, I guess. I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so let's... Why do I have a feeling that she might die first? I have a feeling. That feeling might be right though. But I'm saying time, it's also pretty interesting. Let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't What are you talking about? What is this even what does this have to do with anything? Why did your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. But how can we be sure unless you know why? Silence counts as a lie, Alex. My brother Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't... Hold on.